the value of lies when there is darkness satan comes to jesus at the first instance and jesus said it is written it is written it is written but when jesus did it is written the victory was permanent the word of god excels above all this realm. it was in his doing what was written that satan was permanently defeated confession tells us what you believe believers need to be taught afresh how the word works the overcomer is the one who believes but it does not mean that it will automatically work for you miracles still happen breakthroughs still happen like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it peaks, spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars when jesus walked upon the earth matthew chapter 4 the bible tells us that when he left john after john baptized him he was driven by the spirit to the wilderness to be tempted of the devil and then the bible lets us know from verse 2 that having prayed and fasted 40 days and 40 nights he was hungry verse 3 says that satan came to him the tempter he called him and the first temptation he said if thou be the son of god who is talking now satan command that these stones be made bread now watch the answer and the approach of jesus in dealing with satan there's a lesson for us to learn here and he answered and said it is it is that means it is written is greater than i saw it is written is greater than i heard the realm of the prophetic it is written is greater than i saw the realm of revelation it is written is greater than i felt the realm of feelings and emotions you would think satan i mean jesus would have told satan are you crazy you didn't see me praying and fasting but he said it is written this is very powerful the supremacy of god's word above and beyond the realm of the prophetic above and beyond the realm of the apostolic above and beyond the realm of the miraculous above and beyond the realm of feelings in fact it is the word of god that gives these realms and dimensions their value if you extract the word of god from the prophetic the prophetic is just witchcraft if you extract the word of god from revelation revelation is just the empty boasting of men if you extract the word of god from the realm of feelings it's just emotional vacillations that will not lead anywhere what gives credence to all these realms and all these dimensions the healing the miraculous the prophetic is the word of god you have to understand this someone say it is written now we all desire to walk in victory perpetually the bible says now thanks be to god which causes us always to triumph and in preparing for tonight's miracle service i took out time to study carefully and once again the ministry of jesus i really wanted to find out as though i had never studied it before how did jesus address satan how did jesus address the issue of failure because he's our pattern man theologically speaking is that true if we are to command sustainable victory then we have to study not just how paul approached it these are men, men not just how the patriarchs of old i want to see that jesus walked upon the earth so it is worthy of note and study to see how he approached satan and i came up with two things by the spirit that will be my charge tonight there are two principal ways that jesus defeated satan number one after the temptation or during the temptation in matthew chapter 4 you read from verse 1 to 11 we may not have all the time but please write for reference matthew chapter 4 from verse 1 to 11 this captures his entire uh, discourse with satan and his victory over satan notice that the first way jesus overcame satan was by saying it is written are we together his confession 
of the word of god was the basis for his victory and then the bible says when we read verse 10 please give us verse 10 and 11 10 and 11 the last temptation then said jesus unto him get thee ten satan for it is written one last time thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him shall thou serve verse 11 the bible says then the devil leaveth him why did the devil leave him not because he wanted to leave he left him because the basis of his communication with satan was saying it is written but the strange thing is one of the synoptic accounts tells us that he left him for a season that means it is written has power but it is written will pro alone will provide temporal solution the most permanent way jesus addressed satan was not just saying it is written but doing it is written it was in his doing what was written that satan was permanently defeated galatians chapter 3 please and verse 13 when jesus went to the cross and hung on the cross he established by his death his burial and his resurrection the ultimate defeat of satan and his cohorts and he did not just die because he wanted to die on the cross he died doing what was written that this was the only way he could become a curse for us the bible says christ had redeemed us from the curse of the law being made that means becoming not just saying i am a curse mm -mm. being made a curse for us for it is written that means he died and did what he did according to that which was written cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree 14 he says that the blessing of abraham please get my teaching in zaria the seed of abraham i did a teaching on this that the blessing of abraham is justification by faith might come on the gentiles through jesus christ that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith so satan comes to jesus at the first instance and jesus said it is written it is written it is written that provided a measure of victory but he still came back again this time around jesus did not just say it is written he did it is written and it brought permanent victory are we together so there are two realms of establishing victory as we see in and through the life of jesus number one is your confession of faith which is according to that which is written not just according to that which you feel not just according to that which you think we have established the fact that it is written is greater than feelings it is written is greater than um i saw visionary experiences greater than the prophetic i heard in order of priority and supremacy the word of god excels above all these realms but there are many of us our victory is limited because the only thing we do is to say it is written and the bible does not leave us in the dark as to the fact that saying it is written that means dwelling only in the realm of your confession of faith will produce for you a measure of victory three times jesus said it is written and satan left him but he left only to return but when jesus did it is written the victory was permanent and established it is written in the name of jesus i am light i am salt it is written in the name of jesus i am the head i'm not the tail in the name of jesus i am not poor in the name of jesus i am great that is wonderful that is you have already begun your journey to victory but that remaining in that realm alone will eventually frustrate you imagine if jesus just stood and said in the name of jesus or in the name of the father i have died for sinners all sinners you are coming to the saving knowledge of christ that would be wonderful but to end there till today we would not be saved that means it takes more than just saying what is written are we together we must move past that realm to aligning our lives and then doing what is written that is what establishes our victory perpetually most believers know how to speak well 
and even psychologists will tell you that when you speak well you are giving your mind your subconscious the tools that will create the physical expressions of your reality so in any case whether you are born again or not speaking positively and speaking um releasing that positive energy has an advantage to your life but victory in the kingdom is more than that it starts with your speaking but it must end with obedience your doing please give us hebrews chapter 4 paul was giving us perspective as to the power of the word of god he says let us therefore fear lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest uh-huh any of you should seem to come short of it verse 2 he says for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them but the word preached did not profit them the word that was preached was not wrong the word that was preached was not important and yet it did not profit them why not being mixed with faith in them that heard it not being mixed with faith in them that heard it that means they heard the word that was full of life and full of power and yet because they did not mix it with faith and you know what faith is by now that faith is beyond professing the word of god faith has to do with your obedience in one word faith is obedience are we together many believers are unable to establish sustainable victory in their lives not because the word of god is a lie and not because jesus christ has lost his power and victory over satan and circumstances but we are unwilling to finish this faith equation and so give him room to manifest his power in his fullness because for many believers we have not even gotten to the first realm of believing him enough to speak and declare the bible says the righteousness of faith speaks the righteousness that is of faith speaks but it does not just stop with confession there are many many people who make empty confessions in the name of jesus i will not fail and yet they do not find out the kingdom principles that are lotted for victory experientially and so we continue to declare in the name of jesus i am walking in favor in the name of jesus i am walking in abundance and that can get us a measure of victory and results but then we refuse to find out the principles that we need to work with in keeping with the word of god as far as those areas of needs are concerned and then we find out that our confessions almost become a mockery of our christian experience because we are unable to establish victory hallelujah so it starts with your faith and your faith the from the abundance of your hearts the bible says the mouth speaks so don't get me wrong confession is a very important part because confession tells us what you believe in fact give us first john chapter 5 please from verse 4 and 5 it says for whatsoever is born of god overcometh the world hallelujah for whatsoever is born of god overcometh the world and this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith i'm interested in verse 5 verse 5 says who is he that overcometh the world but he that believeth that jesus is the son of god that means not everybody's an overcomer the overcomer is the one who believes not just anything and everything you must believe that jesus is the son of god hallelujah but then in believing that he is the son of god you must also move past that realm and then obtain grace from god to walk in keeping and to do that which commits his integrity to your life this is the area where many believers are missing it do you know as i prayed preparing for this miracle service 
the spirit of god began to burden my heart again and again as to the fact that it is important for believers to understand the potency of the word but more than the potency of the word the dynamics of the operation of the word believers need to be taught afresh how the word works the administration of the life and the power that comes through the word because now we're living in times you know what is happening across the globe and even in our dear nation challenges all everywhere and for many people their christian experience is beginning to be frustrating because they are now experiencing uh, things like lack and want and need to the point where their basic needs cannot be met again do you know i've observed that in africa and especially in nigeria we have a very we have a very we are we are very elastic we have a strong ability to endure so it will be difficult for people to give up on god just for maybe because they don't have a job or their health they can manage and still believe but when it gets to a point where you lack food to eat when your basic needs are affected at that point satan would have made a statement that if care is not taken can affect your christian experience i was listening very carefully to the testimony that i think um a sister or brother gave how that they were mocking her and saying this church girl this is not about church thing it is about a spiritual thing but not a church version you understand what they're saying there are many people who are already receiving invitations to return home and you know what that means to return home means to return to something that seem to have produced a level and a kind of result let me tell you the truth heaven and earth will pass away but believe me when i tell you the word of the lord abides forever do you believe that who is he that overcometh but he that believes in the son of god when you look at the global you know news around the globe economically politically when you look at nigeria we've been challenged especially in recent times even within our city here the fct unfortunately and so it the, the faith of many believers are being dampened people are discouraged people are asking god are you there are you alive do you not know that the value of light is when there is darkness are we together now david would have no ministry if they were not goliath so all of these goliaths moving around are giving the saints an opportunity to demonstrate once and again the all-surpassing power and intelligence that resides within this kingdom i want you to find a way of believing this ecclesiastes i believe it was verse 1 chapter 1 and verse 9 it says the thing that is is the thing which the thing that has been it is that which shall be and that which is done is that which shall be done and there is no new thing under the sun that means as far as the sequence of seasons and living is concerned there is nothing that is new if it is wars it has happened if it's terrorism it has happened before are we together if it's hatred and wickedness it has happened before if it's victory and triumph it has happened before as an individual as an institution as a nation nations have been freed from tyranny through history nations have been under the bondage of tyranny through history and all sorts of things he's saying that there is absolutely nothing new under the sun that means when we are challenged with things that seem to be new in our life he comforts us that they are not new before god that this earth is old enough and it has captured within its space all kinds of things the good the bad and the ugly but that above them all there were people who conquered those systems this is a word of hope for us hallelujah heaven and earth will pass away but that the word of the lord abides forever but it does not mean that it will automatically work for you this is what i want you to listen and understand most of us believe i am a christian i am coming to church that is wonderful 
and yet the word of god does not seem to produce in our lives why is that so because number one we have lost touch with our belief and our confession of faith jesus our pattern man is teaching us that over satan over negative situations and circumstances your first port of call is to believe in the victory of jesus and to confess and profess it with understanding that in the name of jesus when men say there is a casting down for me i declare that there will be a lifting up never outgrow confessing the word in truth do not see it and say this is something for children except you don't believe the bible satan comes to jesus and he says it is written it is written it is written it is written with long life will i satisfy you and show you my salvation it is written you shall be exalted above all the nations of the earth and this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you it is written you will call on one person and a nation will respond to you it is written you have to listen it is risky to build your life today in today's world on any other thing aside from that which is written you are sitting on a time bomb i'm building my destiny on my uncle's uh, promise to me that is dangerous your uncle is a man i'm building my destiny on my many certificates congratulations but believe me when i tell you vanity upon vanity anything that is not the word of god does not sustain by itself the power to stand the test of time are we together there are many who are building their faith and their conviction today on men of god as wonderful as that sounds that is dangerous and that is a risk there are many who are building their faith and their conviction on the monies that they have in their bank account is one thing for your account to be fine and it's another thing for the bank holding your account to be fine hallelujah if you were alive in the days of noah whether you were an investor whether you were a businessman whether you were an excellent farmer whether you were a professor whether you were naive that flood was going to carry every one of you the only person who would survive was the one who got into that ark hallelujah and every once and again events happen in the earth where there are no alternatives except the word of god that ark of safety you see is the word of god it says to build the ark of gopher wood and let it have three stories anybody who was too proud or not discerning to enter that ark died with the flood the heavens gave its rain the earth gave its rain whoever was in between had to go plants animals everything do you know i know that historically there are still arguments today whether the flood of noah really happened the bible tells us that it happened and so we believe we've not experienced catastrophe on earth like that if nigeria has a problem for instance you can run to another nation where there is land and then you can run somewhere and find safety but what if the whole earth the whole earth has water what skyscraper will lift you above it when the heavens sending its rain the earth sending its rain and they're on earth can you imagine no nation was saved only one ark who we see that overcometh but he that believes that that name of the lord is a strong tower that you can run into it like noah ran with his sons to the ark and that they are saved don't blame noah it was not his fault he was obedient enough to not just say what was written but to do he built it for about a hundred years and history tells us they laughed at him they mocked him to scorn and then when the time had come god himself closed the door and rain came and everyone died i've told you that it was not the ark alone that protected them if the whole earth is submerged with water cold will kill you even if you are in the ark i hope you know that so entering the ark was not what protected them the weather condition under that kind of condition i mean come on you have basic knowledge of geography the whole earth being cold it will kill you you will freeze right there 
and yet they were preserved by the hand of the mighty one I don't know about you but as for me I have made up my mind that for as long as I live this becomes the basis for my living I have explored a lot of other options and I've seen how weak they are in the face of real life situations the Bible says the Word of God has been tried seven times and it has survived please listen to me ladies and gentlemen thank god for medical doctors but we're living in times where even they themselves are confessing that they will keep doing their best but they are limited thank god for architects engineers professors and all of that you're in nigeria here our universities sadly have been closed for months i don't know about you but let me encourage you by the spirit of grace that we are living in times that are not only perilous times we're living in times where every believer needs to return back to the integrity of god's word it is written is the ancient pathway that many followed and navigated their way through the tides of life and destiny you would think they will fail with it and yet at the end of it that ark will be standing and the bible says the ark rested on mount ararat hallelujah there are people here tonight sick in their bodies and most of them do not believe that god is able to heal most of them do not believe god is able to deliver listen to me ladies and gentlemen let me encourage you by the spirit of grace i want you to believe that miracles still happen find a way of convincing yourself it is true find a way of believing that breakthroughs still happen find a way of believing that the word of god still works in spite of all the negative things that seem to mar our society i'm speaking words of faith to your spirit as you are seated listening to me inside outside across the globe i want you to believe that god is dependable i want you to believe that the name of jesus is truly a strong tower that the righteous can come to it and they can find safety safety against all kinds of things